All right, guys. Right now, it is a <clears throat> pleasant midsummer morning here in the collapse of everything at Bugs in a Jar Farm at in the Finger Lakes of New York, baby, where it is now Wednesday morning. That would be July 10th, 2024, and uh, sitting here enjoying my cup of planet-saving organic coffee. <clears throat> Doing my part to save the planet. Uh, as we wait for the remnants of a hurricane to blow through here at Bugs in a Jar and hopefully put some more water back in the creek and back in my pond. <clears throat> so, uh, while I wait for a hurricane, figuring out, you know, what to do with myself in my post-doom scrolling <clears throat> life. Uh, what is, we're now on, well, I guess it's day seven. I, I, I did doom scroll a little bit, <clears throat> you know, last Thursday. I, I was uh, halfway doom scrolling uh, when I hit that article about a Netflix documentary titled something like The Man Who Fathered 1,000 Children, something like that. So anyway, I was thinking I might do a rant on that, but I noticed that uh, my evil twin over on that other channel stole that rant from me. <clears throat> so, uh, you'll have to go elsewhere to find the review of that. So, I am sitting here, you know, in, in my post-doom scrolling. This is day seven. <clears throat> you know, trying to reinvent myself uh, as a normie. As a, as a clueless moron normie. Uh, I notice on Pile of Fish that, uh, <clears throat> someone likes me, and to find out what, uh, <clears throat> the latest normie, clueless moron, probably some AI sex bot likes me, that will cost me $51 for that answer. So, uh, we'll think about that $51 purchase. So, I have nothing to do today at my vacation rental business. We actually have a night off with nobody here. I, I, I have nothing to do <clears throat> for my business today. Uh, I, I have nobody to meet. I have nothing to do with myself. Uh, I have been sitting here forest bathing for the past 90 minutes <clears throat> trying to figure out how does a doomer reprogram themselves to be a clueless moron normie and get back in the swing of things. <clears throat> And stop with all of this goddamn doom and gloom. And I want to thank Lieutenant Tom, Tommyist, from <laughs> my old buddy uh, from Vermont. <clears throat> he goes, he has found a way to, uh, to bring me back into the world of normies. If he, that if I, I want to find out... <clears throat> What is on the mind of normies? He suggests I check in with this outfit called Blast. Blast. You want it. We got it. You want it. We got it. Okay, so this is what is on the, according to uh, Tommyist, 
This is what is on the minds of uh, people who are not, you know, thinking about the collapse of a planet and, and melting ice caps and burning uh, rainforest and, 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 and bleaching coral reefs and uh, plastic uh, in your penis, uh, whatever. <clears throat> We're going to check in with Ariel Winter. I have never heard the name Ariel Winter in my entire life, but uh, Ariel's not uh, <coughs> not having a good day apparently. Uh, Ariel Winter <coughs> is being shamed for brawless brawless top while grocery shopping. There you go. <clears throat> Take it away. Uh, blast. This is by Evie Scott. Ariel Winter was merely going about her day when the paparazzi chased her down outside a Los Angeles grocery store in 2016. So what this is, is a story when uh, Ariel Winter went grocery shopping eight years ago. And uh, this is what is on the minds of the normies about how Ariel Winter went shopping for groceries eight years ago. <clears throat> okay, the sitcom star... <clears throat> I have no clue what sitcom Ariel Winter is a star of. I guess I can't tell if she's now 26 years old or if she was 26 years old eight years ago. Had her solo outing documented by the Daily Mail that September. <clears throat> so this is about... <clears throat> They're rehashing an article from the Daily Mail written eight years ago about some uh, uh, Liberty gibbet going grocery shopping without a bra. <clears throat> All right. That September with the photo showing her looking casual in a tight white t-shirt gray sweatpants and flip-flops <clears throat> stocking up on groceries while enjoying stardom on the sitcom modern family the sitcom modern family ariel joined the list of high profile stars who have their every move watched by the press <clears throat> Although, she appeared to handle it just fine, going brawless as she put on a perky display. Yes, we have a perky display under the uh, t-shirt. Ariel low-key flaunted her curves, but she wound it up being shamed in the comments. Yes. So I guess this is Ariel. Uh, now I know why I would shame her. Uh, but I guess this was... Uh, well, that doesn't make any sense either. I don't, I don't even know what that is, Ariel. I don't know who the hell that is. All right, anyway. <clears throat> Going fitted in a classic white t-shirt. Oh, here is the... Going fitted in a classic white t-shirt, Ariel kept cool in the L.A. heat as she showed off her shapely figure while also freeing the nipple. Freeing the nipple. There you go. It's time to free the nipples. <clears throat> Adding hints of glam from tinted shades the actress wore her dark hair tied back, 
also carrying a chic, a chic leather shoulder bag with a fun pink pom-pom on it. Looking relaxed and wearing the lightest ever layer of makeup, Ariel showed off her gorgeous features in full pout, but it was not her lips getting the nasty comments. Yes. Ariel, who quit Hollywood in 2022, so this is some bimbo who quit Hollywood four years ago, four years after this grocery uh, trip, not wearing a bra, <clears throat> putting on her perky display, uh, is, is, is the star of this uh, show, this story in Blast. You want it, we got it. <clears throat> Ariel, who quit Hollywood in 2022 and personally mentioned being chased by the paparazzi as the main reason for her departure, was not left alone by the trolls. <clears throat> Over 500 fans agreed to her reply reading, There is no reason to go without a bra. It looks terrible for anyone at any age. Keep it braless in the bedroom. Strap it up in public. Have some class. Fortunately, a fan came in to reply, leveling things out, as they said, quote, There are lots of reasons not to wear a bra. My nan, my nan, I guess uh, I, I'm not sure what a nan is, stopped wearing bras after bypass surgery gave her a painful scar on her chest that bras made worse. Yes. Meanwhile, a separate user suggested that foregoing a bra is, quote, begging for attention. But uh, now we're going to go from going braless to going pantless. It gets better. By, tw by 2022, Ariel Winter had dropped 30 pounds and was wowing her fans with this Instagram photo where i uh, not sure whether she's wearing a bra or not, but I guess she's no longer wearing pants by 22. By 22, Ariel Winter had dropped 30 pounds and was wowing fans with this Instagram photo, <coughs> rocking the pantless trend. Rocking the pantless trend. <coughs> as she flashed her cleavage in an oversized belted blazer the star sent her followers a gorgeous smile while ditching her shirt i thought she had ditched her pants i guess i i i guess by 22 by four years ago ariel winter had a uh, ditched her pants and her shirt, assumedly had ditched her bra and traded them all in for a blazer. Yes. <clears throat> the star sent her followers a gorgeous smile while ditching her shirt. A gorgeous smile. Looks more like a smirk to me. <clears throat> Over 110,000, over 110,000 Ariel Winter fans left her a like. <clears throat> so did former co-star Sophia Vergara. 
Sophia Vergara, never heard the name in my entire life. <clears throat> that same year, Ariel and boyfriend Luke Benward, a third name I have never heard of, packed up their belongings and left L.A. Yes, this is, uh, <clears throat> I guess Ariel is now a blonde. She is now wearing a onesie, I guess. Uh, she's traded in the blazer for a onesie. But she is sick of L.A. <clears throat> Ariel has opened up about leaving Hollywood. Quote, Part of the reason I always hated L.A. was because I have been followed by paparazzi for a very long portion of my life. And I really, really dislike having my space invaded. I don't like pictures of me when I have not signed up for pictures of me. I don't like feeling watched. <clears throat> Oh, God, we're so fucked. You know, <laughs> uh, I, I, I have to admit, Tommyist in Vermont, uh, <clears throat> that article, more than any, uh, I, I, I don't know, <clears throat> article about the, the Great Barrier Reef uh, being bleached, into oblivion, I don't know, that article more than uh, some, uh, you know, the Pantanal wetland burning to the ground says as much about why we are so fucked as, uh, as anything. So uh, I let this article get through because it was not supposed to be doom scrolling. Uh, this article was supposed to be taking a break from doom scrolling and looking at what uh, probably millions and millions of people are doing with their lives today. But it ended up being uh, the, one of the biggest doom scrolling articles I have ever read in my life. Uh, right there. Aerial winter. There is the face of why we are so fucked. <clears throat> and now that I have unintentionally doom scrolled I have to wrap this up and uh, get back to my forest bath while I still can. So tomorrow <clears throat> I am uh, I am technically freed to doom scroll starting uh, in exactly 24 hours. Uh, I can doom scroll. So I think my what I'm going to do for my rant tomorrow <clears throat> is before I open up the doom scrolling, <clears throat> I am going to make some predictions about what I'm going to find when I go doom scrolling for the first time in a week. <clears throat> See how close I come? My eyes. <clears throat>